You guys see that? Is it gone? Boom. <laughs> We're driving out to this little point to look for bears and I look out the window and there's a brown elk shed right there. So, first of the year. Yeah. Welcome to the first bear hunt on the channel. Welcome back. And we're going to go pick this brown shed up right now. So <laughs> let's go grab it. No way. Got me. It's a pretty solid little shed. Dark brown. Heck yeah. Color on it's awesome. Probably clean house in this stuff, honestly. I have to start looking a little closer now. We drove right by it, like literally 10 yards before we saw it. I know, I just looked out and I'm like, holy crap, there's a brown elk shed right there. Let's see the button on that thing. It's kind of gnarly. Let's see it. Nice. That is a, sweet, thick, huh? a thick old burr on that thing. Heck yeah. Love the color on it. Welcome to Bear 2022. Yeah, welcome to Bear 2022 slash shed hunting. So let's do it. Now let's go kill a big bear. Breakfast at lunch? Well, breakfast at lunch while Nicole was sleeping. That's a damn good husband <laughs> right there. The bacon didn't make it to the plate. I ate it long ago. Blueberry pancakes and camp eggs. You gotta cook the eggs in the bacon grease to make it real good. Let's eat it. I've got something pretty dang cool to show you guys. We have, we usually sleep in tents or hotels in these kind of hunts, but this time we get to do something a little bit different. One of our good friends um, is letting us use his family cabin to hunt bears out of. Check that thing out right here. Right in there. Take you guys in and look at that. A little bathroom right here, just a sink and stuff. And then a bedroom. And in the living room, we've got elk for days up on the wall and yeah lots of cool cabin decor and what do you think of the old cabin it's pretty sweet i love it makes me want an old hunting cabin it's the second day here on the bear hunt been rained out all morning it's been rainy and foggy just terrible weather but the weather just broke we're getting out on this glassing point and we're gonna sit here the rest of the night see if we can turn up a bear just spotted the first bear of the night but it looks like a boar its front legs look like they're pretty thick chocolate bear just feeding <clears throat> So I just found that bear again and got a better look at him and he's definitely not a big bear. 
He has those long lanky legs and looks like a small to medium sized bear, but cool to see nonetheless. We're in the bears, which is super exciting. Um, we're going to keep glassing this until dark and hopefully more comes out. It's definitely starting to come alive on that hillside out there. We've seen tons of deer, tons of elk and one bear now. So let's get those numbers up. We're about an hour or two into the next morning and no bear sightings yet. So this stuff looks awesome, but so far just one bear, um, which is a good start, but he wasn't quite big enough. So we're gonna keep looking. Right now I'm just kinda, there's a bunch of canyons down here, kind of working this rim down, glassing down into the bottoms. Nicole's up on top on a huge major vantage point looking over a ton of country. So just hoping to turn one up. Got some wild onions just to show Nicole. But we're gonna keep looking, keep going, keep eliminating country until we find something else. If you haven't seen our other video, of my new bow. I'm actually giving away my old bow. So all you have to do to enter to win my old bow, which is a Matthews Verdix sweet bow. All you have to do is subscribe to us, subscribe to Corbin's Archery and comment on this video. Uh, yeah, don't forget to do that. And hopefully we're showing you a big old bear soon. What's up guys? It's a new day, new game plan. It's freaking raining today. We're gonna start hiking. We're on a closed road that goes for miles back here. So we loaded up our packs and got the gun. We're headed out here looking for big bears and adventure. One of the reasons hunting these bears is so important for the conservation aspect is because the big male boars, they actually, will kill the cubs to try to get the, the sow to come back into estrus to breed. So they're killing cubs as well as killing tons of fawns and elk calves. So there's a huge reason to keep these big boars in control. And that's why we like hunting them that. And it's an amazing adventure this time of year in the spring. And we love the meat. We have some cool stuff coming up, so make sure you watch till the end of the video to see us cook up some bear. What's our game plan for the night? The game plan is to kind of just work this closed road and glass as we go and when we get to somewhere really good. We're gonna set up and glass for a few hours. Hunt this stuff probably till dark. Hopefully it'll clear up and the sun will come out and these animals will get on their feet. It's great looking stuff. There should definitely be bears in here. So we're hoping that's the plan, but we'll see what happens. Looks like the fog has rolled in. So I don't think we're gonna be doing much glassing for a while. We're gonna probably hunker down under a tree and wait for this to hopefully break. We got here and we were hoping that the rain would let up so everything would come out and it would be awesome. We got here and fogged in all around us. Can't see more than 60 yards. <laughs> well, we actually just barely got a weather forecast to load and it is supposed to be socked in until dark. So I'm starting to think, we're starting to think that probably be a waste of our time to sit here all day. Um, we've been here for about an hour now waiting for it to clear and 
These bears are pretty, pretty fair weathered animals most of the time, this time of year. So if the storm would break, it could be really good. We're probably just gonna hunt our way out of here. If we can- Hunt our see. way out? Yeah, we're gonna walk out because <laughs> we still can't see more than a hundred yards, but. We got there. We have a bear on the phone scope, on the window mount from the truck <laughs> at like 500 yards. Check this out. Right in that little clearing, you can barely see it. Spotted it driving by. We spotted it miles eye. away and then we just got closer. And then Nicole said, there he is. He's right, right above now. somebody's campsite. Probably yeah, a, right above a wall tent, like 371 yards above the wall tent. Actually. Someone's hunting bears out of a wall tent and the sucker's right above their tent. He's like sitting down like a person. Yeah. It's freaking cool. Maybe. Oh, she has two cubs. Two cubs. She's getting up now. She is missing a leg. Shut up. She is missing a right front leg. Her left front leg. She is completely missing a leg. What? No way. No joke. That's insane. She's like fat, healthy, has babies. Yeah, missing a this is crazy. Like, just goes to show you how tough these wild animals are. This bear is missing a front leg and still thriving, raising two cubs. And herself looks nice and healthy. Fat. Crazy. I'm glad I waited for her to stand up. Dang, look at her go. That's crazy. All right, let's get out of here. What are we doing? Are you filming me? Yeah. We are unloading one Baku bike right here because sad. Nicole is unfortunately dealing with some post-COVID situations where super low energy all that fun stuff so i can't hike i yeah, can't pretty much can't at all do much but anyways this trail it goes to that big bear that we found the other night so i'm hoping he's still there and we're gonna roll in there and hopefully i'll whack a bear and looked on my onyx and this trail looks pretty awesome like it goes through some awesome country the whole way so who knows i may end up getting into bears before i even get to where i want to be but pretty pumped ready to get after it feeling good so hopefully Nicole's better in a couple days and ready to tag along but yeah let's do it about six miles in and it looks like I'm up here it should start to open up real good but there's been bear sign on the trail and lots of really good looking country so hopefully when it opens up I can see so far so good 
on the bike. Just been trucking along. Just came around the corner and snuck right up on this bull. He's actually with another bull, but my wind just shifted, so he might be smelling me now. There's a bear up the ridge. Looks like a pretty good one, so I'm gonna try to hurry and gain some elevation and hopefully get within shooting range, but we're running out of daylight fast, so it's gonna happen fast or it's not gonna happen at all, but here goes nothing. So not freaking two minutes ago, that sound cub ran 20 yards in front of me. They just like, you can barely see them. This is phone footage, but. The other bears to be up higher. That was sketch. All of a sudden I looked up and they ran right by me. I just realized I really did a terrible job of keeping you guys posted last time. I actually went way further than I should have with the bike and I couldn't get out with the bike. So I stashed the bike on the mountain, hauled the battery home, got it charged and a spare battery. Now I'm hiking back into the bike and gonna hunt there tonight and hopefully get on that bear that we had found. Hoping to get in there with plenty of time today with at least four hours of good, good hunting. So we will see what happens. I'm gonna get going. I got quite a ways to go. Just hiking down the trail, me and Nicole actually went and looked for a bunch of these wild moral, morel, how do you say it? Moral or morel mushrooms? Let me know in the comments. We've been arguing about it, but we looked a little bit yesterday and uh, no luck. I'm just hiking in and I just found like the mother load. So I'm actually gonna pick a few. And if we kill a bear tonight, I'm gonna stash them on the trail. Hopefully we can grill some up with some bear nuggets if we have any luck tonight. So I might pick them and stash them because it's a Friday and some, it's pretty competitive around here, so. That's a true mer That is one right there. Let's twist those out. They say if they have hollow stems, that's what you're looking for. Anyways, pretty sweet. These go for like 20 bucks a pound right now, so they must be pretty good. Never had them. We got these things stashed. Gonna hide them with a couple logs and rocks. Pick these bad boys up on the way out, but pretty pumped to try these. So now on to killing a bear. Still got about two miles to go to get back to my bike. So making good time, keep going. I finally made it into here. I'm about 200 yards from where I stashed my bike, but been hiking for about six hours now. So took a while to get in here. Um, gonna sit down, have a little lunch. Got this in our, I guess it's green belly. Green Belly Mill to go. Got a big bear found. Just made it to the bike. Um, I've got to cover some serious country, so um, probably not going to be many updates. And I'm going to get going, so. I 
1400 yards away and there's like five or six bears they're all trying to breed a sow so i still got a little bit of time but holy crap i've never seen anything like that uh, i'm gonna keep going and pick the biggest one and hopefully get a shot we'll see still got a little bit of time to make it happen Well, that was crazy. I got up here, ended up glimpsing three of the bears. There was at least six or seven. But, never got a shot, it's too thick. You can just see pieces of the meadow, so. Uh, I'm gonna start working my way out of here. It's gonna be a long way out. It's 11.15 uh, p.m. Just made it back to my stash. Unfortunately, no bear nuggets to go along with it, but maybe tomorrow. We've got two more days on the hunt. But just gonna grab these, throw them in the bike, saddlebags, and get going. Well, made it back to the truck at 12.05, just realized I lost my pistol on my hip. So I'm gonna review my last video and see if I can see it. But I guess we'll probably be looking for that tomorrow. What a day. I'm going for like 14 hours now, so. Whew. Nice bed sounds pretty good. only one bear today so not the greatest news but i do have some good news i backtracked an extra mile and right where i had to get off and push the bike because there's a fallen tree around the trail let me turn this camera around oh that is a uh, sweet goodness for my eyes right there the pistol is safe and with us so that's a good day i did not want to leave this on the mountain and i'm glad somebody didn't steal it but anyways got a little rain on it so we're gonna have to clean it up when we get home but thank goodness what's up guys we are back um we're here hunting spring bear. Super excited to be out here. It's the best time of year. All this fresh green grass has got these bears out. They just came out of hibernation and their main diet right now is all this bright green grass. So we're keying in on all that. We're actually in a spot that we found last year. We found a really sweet uh, looking bear that was, we call Carmelo. And um, cause he's got like a caramel color to him, um, but he's quite a ways in here, so snowed a lot more this year so things could definitely be different but we're hoping to get in here and find him tonight and we've got the bikes the bike all loaded down and we're gonna ride in here and see what we can find but super excited to be out glad to have you guys here watching and following along and oh uh, yeah let's go get it
Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just shot that back. He's definitely not moving good. I hit him solid three times. After the first shot, I was just trying to get more in him just to ensure it, but looks like a big bear. We might have to go. Let's go have a look. Oh my gosh. I just shot a freaking bear. No. Yeah, no joke. I freaking. Where? Are you freaking serious? Is he dead? <laughs> I think he was barely moving when I saw him last and I drilled him every freaking time, but. Are you serious? Yeah, I was literally just parked on my bike and on the trail and I looked down at my phone cause I knew I had service right there and I looked over and it was just glowing in a big bright green meadow and it's a giant chocolate boar. Like he's huge. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, babe, like I'm serious. You're, he's, you're lying. He's way bigger than your bear. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm serious. I gotta go though, just like, in case no I gotta. Crap. No crap. I gotta go just in case I gotta shoot him again, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking pumped. Okay, love I'll be you. Okay, love you. Okay, love, love you, bye. <laughs> well, the bipod broke. What? I got one, a few more shots in it. Made her count, I guess. All right, we're gonna go see if we can get this bear. He was not getting along well at all when I saw him last. Just gotta be super careful with these wounded bears. You can see right here where he went down the mountain. So I'm gonna just ease down this and see if I can see him. Oh, I can see him right here. I'm assuming he's dead because he didn't hardly go anywhere from the last shot, but can't be too careful so we're gonna ease down here then I'm probably gonna hike out tag him hike out and get Nicole so we can share this experience together so we've been hunting our butts off over the past few years to get some bears down and we're starting to get her figured out but whew, that was wild so I'm pretty sure that's him right there just gonna ease down where I got nothing in my hand but a gun and uh yeah Seeing him breathing at all. Holy crap. That's a big old bear. Got him. Holy crap. That was insane. Bear hunting is so much fun, but it's wild. This is a big bear. My, definitely my biggest bear. Big boar. He didn't go maybe 80 yards. So. We got us a big old bear down and I'm gonna go get Nicole. We're gonna come back, get some pictures, skin this thing up and get some delicious bear meat. And uh, yeah, see if we can get her one. She's got a tag in her pocket too. Oh, it's been a long time coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you killed that? I shot that. Wait, I get even better footage. Just let me get to the good stuff. Holy hell, its belly literally is touching the ground. That's gotta be the biggest bear I've ever seen. I'm telling you, like when I saw Holy it. Holy sh. And right in that bright green patch of grass. Yeah, wait till you see it. Oh my hell. <laughs> that is a freaking slob. What? And that's the first bear you saw. You just came up. Yeah, on I just parked the bike and looked out, and I'm like, oh, there's a bear. I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, that's a giant. Oh, that one will do. <laughs> <laughs> Checked my Onyx real quick and went after it. <laughs> yes. <sighs> So 
I rolled up to here. Yeah. Felt my phone go off. Stopped. Looked at it. I usually stop here and look anyways because it looks so perfect. Yeah. But I haven't ever seen anything here. And then all of a sudden I look up from my phone with my naked eye and I'm like, there's a freaking bear in that green grass. That's such a perfect spot. And then, yeah, the rest is history. But it was super simple. Just I bucked it down the ridge to that big tall ponderosa right down there and laid down and got it. So you just dropped your bike and then walked down to that tree. Yeah, I followed the tree so he couldn't see me. And then... Yeah then went to that big ponderosa and, and he didn't hear you or anything oh no he had no clue if you would have been on a motorcycle he oh, would have blown out he was only from here he was only 600 yards could have yeah you would have blown him out big time on a motorcycle oh yeah without this i would have never seen him or if i was walking i would have been at least an hour later than i was so We worked so hard for this. It feels so good that it's finally come together. We had a tough year last year. And so thankful that we just got it done. I can't wait to see this thing. Somebody a little excited? A little. I can smell like hella onions right here. We just crossed that little creek and it's all green right here. Those will be amazing with our bear back straps tonight. I think we're going to see if we can pick some and fry up some bear meat at camp tonight. Let's see, check this out. Little tiny onion. We're getting really close to where this bear's at. It should just be another less than 100 yards away down on this hole. This is going to be a long day of packing, getting all the hide and the meat out and stuff. What do you think about that bear? He looks like a fatty. He's giant. Holy crap, he's so fat. <laughs> Holy shit, is that his head? That's his head. Oh my god, his neck. <laughs> I know. He doesn't even have a neck. I know. I'm telling you, he's a tank. Isn't that a stud there? That is terrifying that these are in the wilderness just <laughs> hanging out. This thing is a giant. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that big old pumpkin head. What that a is giant. a stud of a bear. Look at those. All worn down. Big old Bruin. Wow. But he's kind of in a tough spot, so we're going to have to try to get him out in the open to where we can show him to you guys better. But dream bear for sure. Light muzzle, big old pumpkin head. Beautiful chocolate coat. Just gorgeous. But we're going to get him propped up, take some good pictures, and get him skinned out. Some new game bags we're gonna test these black ova sacks the lightweight game bags they got a pretty sweet little kill kit in there too a little tarp and everything so we're gonna get that laid out 
and we're gonna get cutting on this bear get him taken care of get him packed out of here All right guys, this bear loaded down with fat, which is not super normal for the spring. They're usually pretty lean right now, but this bear's got a big old layer of fat on him. So we're gonna take this fat and we're actually gonna use it and we're gonna render it down and use it for all sorts of stuff. For baking, for cooking. We are getting close to being done with the work for the day. We're gonna load up all this meat. We've got it right there working on the back straps and the tenderloins and um, yeah amazing day got to spend time with family this morning go out to breakfast and then wait on a thunderstorm to roll out of here and kill a bear in the middle of the day so pretty awesome definitely saved some deer fawns and elk calves for sure this big old bear I'm sure that was about to be his main source of food here in the next coming months so predator management is super important and it's good to uh keep their these big boar numbers in check especially like not only do they eat elk calves and deer fawns they they'll kill bear cubs and try to get the sow to come back into heat so they can breed again but yeah they kill bear cubs and yearling bears all the time so killing a bear like this will actually help the population tremendously so Anyways, gonna bag this up, get back to the bikes, and get out of here. We're all loaded up. The meat, the hide, the head, everything. And Nicole has some too. We were just getting finished cutting him up, and we looked up, and there was a bear up above us. And uh, it was a couple hundred yards above us, but we think it was just coming to this green grass. I yelled at it, and it took off. Went up and over the ridge, so. Hopefully that's the last bear encounter for the day and get back to the truck, back to the bikes and back to the truck and uh, go out, get back after it again tomorrow. So let's get it. Let's get it. We're going to pack this thing out. We're going to eat some back bear straps either tonight or tomorrow, depending on what time we get out of here. So don't miss it. So don't miss it. Back to the bikes, have some western stuff go down on the way. Sitting down for a break and all of a sudden a couple of rocks rolled past us and assuming it was that bear we scared off, but we're back to the bikes now and hopefully no more encounters for the night and we're just off to the truck, so let's get it. These old bakus are gonna take us home. Let's go hey, home. Biking. Hey, biking. <laughs> We have a better setup in the beginning, but this is what it looks like now. Is there any fixing it? Or no. no. All right, we're just gonna roll out of here. What a night, huh? These are the yeah, nights I remember. For sure. For About better to or for worse. Die. She's only 150 yards away. I smoked a bear. seven foot from nose to the very back of his hide but he's six foot six from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail 
That's big. That's a freaking giant. These boots on, I'm probably about 6'1". it back we're here got them unloaded we almost got stalked by a bear on the way out it was rolling rocks and went across above us we were pretty nervous on the way out didn't love that but we made it out and we have a freaking absolute monster of a bear let's go to bed well we're back from the morning hunt glassed all morning didn't see any bears so just here at our camping spot and we are going to cook up some of my bear that I got the other day. So we're going to start by cubing up some of this bear fat, which my bear had a ton of fat on. Obviously it's pretty big and super fatty for a spring bear, but we're going to cube that up and we're going to put it in this pot, render it down, and then we're going to drop some of the back strap in there and cook it up. So cube bear fat. So let's throw this in, get this grill lit up and Get it going. Let's probably let this heat up for just a minute. We're just gonna start with two pieces, let it get, make sure it doesn't stick to the pan. So stir it around so it doesn't stick. What's your goal with this fat here? I'm gonna render it down, get it nice and, so there's a nice liquid in the pot and then basically deep fry the, the bear nuggets in its own fat. That's what we're gonna try. So maybe with some seasonal salt and pepper, something like that, but that's the goal here. Okay, we got a little piece of the back strap all cut off, trimmed up. So now we're just gonna cut this into some cubes. With bear meat, you wanna make sure you cook it all the way because if you don't cook it to a high enough temperature, you can get, some bears will carry trichinosis. 160 degrees is what the recommended temperature is. Really tender looking meat. Yeah, it looks really tender. We're just wanting to try some of this while it's super fresh. This literally, this bear was harvested yesterday. So we're gonna eat this while it's super fresh. When we go home, we'll probably end up canning a bunch of it. And um, if you guys wanna see how you do, we do that, let us know in the comments and we'll make a video of us canning this bear meat and rendering the bear fat. So um, anyways, yeah, we're just gonna eat this while it's crazy fresh and, and see how it is. It's our first time trying it this way. So let's see how it, how it tastes. Probably start with that many. Yep. All right, guys, I think I might have overdone this one a little bit, but no trichinosis in it. It's hot. Well, texture, flavor. It tastes like a stinky old bear. Great flavor, actually. But I overdid it. It's She's still like kind of charcoal. soft and chewy in the middle. Yeah. Let's cook up that other batch. Okay, next batch. Next batch. Got a second batch done. Didn't cook these ones quite as long, so here we go. Do the hair test, make sure there's no hair in it. It's really tender. 
It does kind of remind me of mutton a little bit. Mutton? Maybe it's just because of the way we cooked it. Your favorite. Last batch of the bear nuggets for today. So just a little fresh taste today. See what this is all about. And they're pretty good. So I would eat them again. See the seasonal is different than the salt. You're kind of a seasonal guy. Like that a little you bit. like the seasonal? Let's see. It's good when it has like the fat. I think I like the plain salt better. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It's I just don't really like the, seasonal that much. The fat are on it, like coated in the fat. Yeah. It's pretty tasty, really. I'd say it reminds me more of beef. Yeah. I get the more of the lamb mutton vibes from it. Probably just because of the fat content. I like it. <laughs> so you're avoiding that fat piece right there. <laughs> huh. Saving it for you. Go ahead. Well, there you have it. And uh, pretty sweet. Giant bear. Now we've got a tag for Nicole to fill. And then we have tags in, other, in another state as well. So thank you for watching. Comment below if you have any awesome bear recipes we need to try. We've only ever canned bear meat and then just tried that. So if you know of any great recipes we need to try, let us know. And we will see you on Nicole's hunt.